Hello everybody, my name is Provis and welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4 Old World of Blues. Playing as the Washington Brotherhood. The old country has made the mistake of, I don't know, refusing me? Was insulting me? No. They just refuse to let me eat them, basically. And that means I'm gonna go and eat them. So let's get the troops in position and get ready for some more warfare. Uh, we need to get ourselves an offensive line up to Electric City. I would love to have some planning bonuses and preparation for all this nonsense. If we can punch through just one avenue of the river, uh, we'd be in a pretty good position to deal with these guys. Alternatively, we may want to consider deliberately backing off to encourage him to cross so that I can jump in. But let's see how things are looking at the beginning of the war. Once we get a planning bonus and such, what can I do for you? Uh, we can see just whether we have a good stat lineup against these guys or not. We should take our few gliders, and I can't even reach this far. Wow. Yep, okay. This is the problem, of course, with the planes at the beginning of the game. They are so short range, they can't do pretty much anything at all. Pretty much anything at all. All right. Uh, still nothing I want to do down here, I think. We are currently working on enslaving the weak because the extra recruitable population and factory output is certainly quite good. Um, garrisons should be doing all right. We can always pull that back later if we want to save some manpower. Uh, we can go for even more plant cultivation for more monthly population growth. And at some point I'm worried that we're kind of stacking too much up there though. Let's instead go for the factory output. Just the raw output is pretty good. Also the factory efficiency growth. Since uh, I know we're going to need a lot more logistics. Puppet Ledger. Ooh, this is new. Hello. We can actually see their own stability, war support, manpower, and everything. Oh, that's cool. Where did this come from? Where has this been all my life? I don't know. We're just going to do this one more time. Let's go ahead and train one more power armor company. We have enough power armor to justify it. The more we have, the better. They're so good. The more armor you have, the more manpower you preserve. The more manpower you preserve, the more of an advantage you have over your opponents in a game where manpower is extremely crucial. Extremely so. Um, we don't have a lot of water. Probably should get more of that. Office of Strategic Something or Other is done. Good, we have a spy agency. God, all right. So is anything different here or is this all the same? This all looks the same to me. Uh, we could go for more intelligence on stuff. Steel tech is not important to me right now. I'm curious if you can steal, like, enclave level tech. If you are not an advanced civilization, could you do this? I don't know. Uh, let's see. Cryptology doesn't matter right now. None of this is too important, I think. And we don't have radio. Yeah, we're not worried about this. Not at the moment. So, either way, we've got a spy. We should start recruiting one in, like, 29 days. It's a way of getting a little bit of extra intelligence. And yeah, at the moment, my generals are not feeling very confident that they can beat this many uh, ghouls uh, at the moment. Um, okay. We have some green troops, apparently, down here for reasons. Go ahead and send them over there. What's going on? Oh, you just keep training more, apparently. Okay. He's just giving me free units. Automation is done. That's more production efficiency cap. Not really worried about the robots right now. So let's ignore that. Uh, reinforce rate increase is pretty good. Do like to have that whenever possible. Um, and yeah, we should get a chief of army. We can go for the veteran paladin, which gives me division attack plus 10%. That's pretty good. Um, I do like this, but we can't do that until we have the black paladins. Don't need a chief of navy or anything. We can get two military high commands. We don't need this. Not really worried about any of that right now. Uh, trading, bottle cap, blah, 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 blah. I think we're going to go for the veteran paladin. Power armor hardness actually is great. But we don't have enough to justify it right now, whereas 10% attack could make a difference in this war. So we're going to try for that. If we are not able to quickly punch through these guys, then we are going to have to um, pull back, let them cross the river, and spread themselves thin so that we can win. Now, we're sending way more troops down here than I need to. What do you need? So I think we are going to commit, actually, to go ahead and destroying that. What do you need? Let's create a fallback line um, along here. And then another fallback line over here. And we're going to take half of you. 
and assign it to the secondary one with the intention that we will have a pretty good concentrated force that can jump in here and crush these guys once they do cross the strait. Because we have enough troops that we can absolutely hold these guys under control for a little bit. I think. Am I missing any important crossings? Sometimes I miss them and I end up being an idiot. Nah, it doesn't look like it. Okay. So, if our troops are in position, What's going on? we'll be able to attack. Planning bonus, we are entrenched. We have very little plan preparation. I don't know why we have so little on some of these units. They're all in position. I don't know. It's just not building up anytime soon for some reason. Huh. Um, a spy will not do me a lot of good right now. So if the troops are in position, they will be. I think we go ahead and declare the war. Let's do it. And let's see what do you need? if we can, in fact, attack across here and win. After this, Power this armor. Reinforce. It's acting like we might be able to win. 60 combat width. We should be able to fit in at least a couple more. So we'll get some more stats added in there in a minute. And then, yeah, we got max right here. Again, the war bands are taking over and not the power armor. I don't like that. It's not what I want. Oh, well. Whatever. So these guys should start coming across, which they are. So we don't have to worry about this. We're going to lose some temporarily uh, victory points, but that doesn't matter too much. Okay. New decisions available. Um, seize on patriotism. Get some war support and stuff. Meh. Mobilize the people. No. No, this is fine as it is right now. Yeah, now we're not able to beat this. Let's go ahead and move the gliders here. At least we can have, like, air support in my immediate vicinity. Should make it easier once they come through here, which they are fanning through. Okay, resistors are done. That means some more uh, research speed for me. And let's go for the production efficiency cap. Give that a little bit of an upgrade. Come on, ghouls. Hurry up. Get through here. Come on. You know you want to. And if I can just encircle these guys, I mean, I can get, you know, a lot of free kills. And the weaker they are, the more they have to pull off, and I can just run rampant. Okay, we have a spy. Uh, let's see. We can get somebody who's tough or well-groomed and a seducer. I think we'll take you. And for good measure, let's go ahead and start building an intel network in this region. I don't know. A little bit of extra intelligence. It could help. Nine ghouls sitting here right now. This is a very expensive fight for not a lot of gain. If we can punch through it, it's all worth it. But if we can't, it's not worth it at all. This one's looking doubtful to me, and I'm surprised how doubtful it is. It's because this is a land connection, technically, whereas this is actually a straight crossing. Hey there. So what we're going to do is the same thing here, then. We're going to create a fallback line. Like this. I'm going to assign all of you to back up here. We're going to encourage him to come across so I don't have to take the penalty. We have enslaved the weak because I'm awful at all things. Hey! Uh, let's see. Dark ambitions, war support wouldn't be bad. Um, I think the extra division attack and defense could make a difference, though. Are these guys just not helping? You realize you guys can send troops up here to help me, right? You realize this? This is a thing you know you can do? Don't wanna? Alright. These guys are just wandering all over the place. What are they doing? Wait, where are you? Oh, I own land down here. <laughs> yeah. What can I do for you? Forgot about that. All right. Well, let's uh, let's see if we can, in fact, just like sneak attack a little bit. We're we're gonna try to cut them off. They're gonna go down this way. Fine, no biggie. Um, yeah, I forgot that I own land down here. Because of course I ate these guys. The 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 doip. All right. Are you guys funneling through? They are. They are falling from my trap. Clay working is done. More construction speed means more production for me. Resource gain efficiency again. Uh, I'm going to go for the multi-population. And the extra recruitment factor. What can I do for you? Um, okay, so it looks to me like What's he's left on? himself open. So if I can run in here and pin him down until I can get across the straight, he's going to have nothing and we can just kill him. Sir. If he's going to do that for me, which he may not. Hey there. But what in little intelligence I have suggests that he has, in fact, hey. left himself open. So let's go pin him down. Why not? Oh, wait. K 
Okay, we have a slight fight. Slight kerfuffle. But he hasn't got much left because he's trying to back up. Can he get down here and pin these guys before they go and help? And I don't want them reinforcing anything. Okay, no reinforcements means all of you guys can focus your efforts here. Hello, sir. And then, again, more unassigned divisions, huh? Alright. This guy is just training up all the troops for me. It's actually kind of nice. Let's hold on to the political power right now. Okay, so he's still pushing through a little bit. That said, I can't really tell if he's left anything else. I see one. He might have more here, but I don't see it. So I'm going to pin him down so he can't go anywhere. And we're going to see if we can just cross the straight right now. Okay, I need you guys to actually go up here. All right. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. All of you, here now, please. Thank you. Okay, he's actually retreating once again to defend in this area, which I find amusing. He's left himself open okay. once more. And now he's pinned and can't defend. Idiot, you've left yourself to die. Exactly the sort of thing you want to see. All right, so now I'm going to go grab that crossing, and we're going to go up over here. And then some of you guys are going to go up to Davenport. Vault City declares war on the Pale Folk. That's racist. Don't do that. Oh, do not like that. Um, anything else we want to do right now? I don't think so. Research is looking okay. We are actually almost done punching through here. After this, I... Okay, we were not able to uh, actually punch through the straight, but we can get a quick kill on one ghoul. So that's easy What's enough. And actually with only two defending, it looks like we have a good chance of getting through here now. Greetings, so let's just see if we can do it. We did get across here. That's good. Okay, so now we just need to hold this line while he loses his organization. He is actually back again at the uh, straight, which I don't like. But we can counterattack. He doesn't have much to defend. These guys have basically no supply at all. So we should be able to kill them. We'll go to the cable bridge and try to pin these guys down so they don't go anywhere else. And also, by taking the victory points, that means no supply generation of any kind. So this guy's not going to die. He's just going to retreat. But if we keep these guys under control, we'll be fine. Okay, so some of you guys are going to need to move and spread out. Like this. Okay, get to Electric City. What can I do for you? And yeah, all of you guys now are assigned here. Hello, sir. Go to Electric City, quick. You, you, you literally just left the freaking straight open. We got it, and then you immediately started retreating. That's my fault. I know why he did it. But, let's make sure that doesn't happen again. What can I do for you? Okay, keep these guys pinned. What do you, need? you guys help. Get rid of this. Dodge this. this as well. And we need another offensive line right here. Let's see how you handle Probably this. with all of you guys assigned here. Help. And some of you guys up over here. Fall back. Should be able to win this. Should be fine. And even if we just want to sit here, that's fine. That's a whole bunch of troops that he's left unable to move. So I'm going to assign you guys here, just to make sure you guys don't retreat anywhere I don't want. And then, yeah, just keep him pinned down. This is fine. Yep, we're going to get the old country, everybody. And that is going to be a chunk of extra factories for me. Guess how excited I am. Very excited. Look how much land they got. Holy crap. It is a lot, dude. It is a lot. Can some of you guys go down this way? Because we can, like, cut him off from his new capital and all these guys are going to die. Being smart with your maneuvers is so important in Old World Blues because you have to maintain so much of your manpower, right? Like, just outmaneuvering your opponent is such a big on? advantage. You got to be clever. You got to be clever in your tactics. Let's get down over here as well. Make sure we're crossing. What's going on? You guys can go across this way. You go here and assist. Join him up. Okay. These guys are still looking pretty pinned to me. What's going on? I'm going to say the offensive line is to go out this way and go. That way they keep making progress so I don't have to micromanage quite as much as I am right now. One of you is going to go down this way. Let's go ahead and keep tightening the noose a little bit. A little hammer and anvil action. Kaisar's Legion has murdered the hangdogs. What's up, dog? Not much with you. You're dead. <laughs> okay. Um, research, about to finish with Marching Fire. That's extra breakthrough value for me. Let's go for the hit and run. Extra speed. Again, just going for that Blitzkrieg. I mean, we're going to have walking tanks, you know? I think it's appropriate. I think it's appropriate that we can Blitz. 
fighting over here at the moment. I think you're fine. We are now able to go kill Bellingham, and we definitely need to do that. We need to declare the war before we lose that war goal, which expires in two months. So we need to wrap this up quick. What can I do for you? So let's send a few troops to immediately just funnel out, grab the war points. More than anything else, that's what matters. He got the hood settlements, which is annoying. But not huge. Let's tighten the noose a little bit further. Again, these guys have no supply, so they should all start dying off pretty quick. I think we can win this in the next two months if we can move fast enough. If we can move quickly, we've got it. Okay. Start hitting these guys. Looking good. You guys are going to head up to any of these points. You're already heading up here. That's fine. He might cut me off, which is an issue. Let's go ahead and start trying to spread out a little bit more. So, post falls, how close are you to capitulation? You should be pretty close. 83%. Not bad. Losing the hood settlements is part of what hurts here. But otherwise, it wouldn't be that big of a deal. So you guys should be able to just collapse on him, like, hard here. Okay, we got that. Let's make sure we keep them on the back heel. There we go. There we go. There we go. Okay, we were able to get up here at least, so this is good. Now, he's split off at the moment. But, we can try to join that up a different way. But he's so spread out with so few troops that it doesn't matter. Now it's just a matter of speed. How fast can we move? Um, we can go for organized slavery and change it to enslave our enemies. We can go for military high commands. Division speed, reconnaissance, decryption. Out of supply and supply consumption. Recovery rates, experienced soldier loss. I'm going to go for the Wasteland Survival Training. Let's get some organization on these troops. That does tend to make life a little bit easier. You guys are moving, right? Yeah, you're just slow. We're working on it, though. We're working on it. What's going on? He's going off that way. These guys are almost dead. My biggest thing is just making sure I don't lose this war goal. Like, I'm going to feel real stupid if I lose that. It took a long time. Uh, Dark Ambitions. Let's go for the Black Paladins and unlock it. We should start focusing on other things in the War Focuses, but I mean, so far, mere aggression has worked out pretty well. And you get a lot of economic benefits just from Conquest Take at this, this point, so I mean... I think it's fine. Kimmel Station, finish them. Smoke Signals means more reinforcement rate. Uh, Encryption, Decryption is a thing, but I'm not gonna worry about it right now. We're instead gonna worry about... We're okay on energy cells. Nothing to worry about there. Resource gain efficiency? Mm. That's all still ahead of time. Still ahead of time. We're starting to get some factories together. I'm going to start researching some of the support companies. With the anticipation that soon-ish I'll get to do something with it. Alright, we've got Post Falls. I need you to now turn up here to Claxton. There it is! Alright. New Reno is joining the NCR. Okay. Not what I'm worried about right now, but thank you. Take all states! Mine! Alright. Now, what do you need? we need to quickly redeploy our troops. All of you there. Yes, and for good measure, let's get a quick bunch of you up over here. What can I do for you? We're going to try to make sure we can hold what on can to I all these points. There we go. Offensive line, you're going to attack from the east. Just make sure we are able to push them in multiple directions. And if all these troops can get here quickly enough, we will be in position to attack Bellingham and eat all of their factories. Washington Brotherhood, looking pretty good. Looking pretty good. I'm happy with this. Yes. What is this? What's wrong? Oh, we don't have enough water. No! Trade the Port Maw. Gimme. Actually, wait. No, don't trade the Port Maw. Because why give them autonomy for free? We'll trade with the Miraluke tribe instead. How's that? There. We have water. Yeah, we're going to need to extract more resources. Alright. 
Troops are looking pretty good. They actually deployed really fast. Wow. Not bad. These guys are all in position as well. I don't see most of his troops on the east, which means we can just push immediately. So yeah, I think we just go ahead and attack right now. And say go and go. If you see an opportunity, I say take it. You have no reason not to just push. You guys also should just push. There we go. If he's going to leave the straights open, why give him the chance to respond, right? I've made contact. Form on me. There's actually several... This doesn't... Okay. Yeah, I mean, we got three straights into the same province right here. That's a little weird. But all right, fine. Whatever. I don't care. Um, we could be manually controlling this and would probably be more efficient. But right now, we're actually doing all right. Okay, some more new Reno is under attack. Wait. Didn't uh, New Reno join the New California Republic? So Vault City attacked him? Does that mean they're fighting the NCR? Because that doesn't make a lot of sense, if so. Let's go ahead and research the uh, dynamite as well. I do tend to like some of that. That's all pretty good. Yeah, I think Bellingham may be uh, pretty screwed right now. Let's see if we can go ahead and start working our way over to Ainsworthy and keep these guys um, surrounded so that they die. And one of you guys, go grab this air base. Speaking of air, shift these guys around up over here. I'm going to attach them to this. There we go. In theory, they should start following around. I mean, air support. Woohoo. It does a little bit. Intel advantage. Attacking from multiple directions. Oh, right. We should probably move our spy. Haha. <laughs> yeah. So the gliders give me intelligence? Is that what I'm getting out of that? I think so. It's either that or it's just the decryption advantage. What can I do for you? All right. You guys go ahead and start clearing this out. Let's go ahead and solidify the line a little bit. What's going on? Looking good. Looking good. We should be able to get into Ainsworthy without much issue. Um, What's going on? Let's get rid of this. Hey. I'm going to keep doing what I'm doing right now. Hey. Let's go grab all of that. What do you need? Okay. Good, good, good. Still haven't made enough progress to get into Bellingham. Oh, hello. Take this. Some ghouls snuck behind me. They are shockingly close to Capitol Hill. Oh, we probably shouldn't let them do that, huh? Take positions. I didn't realize they had control of Rhombus Island. I probably should have known that, but I didn't know that. Vault City has fallen. Okay. This will be over quickly. Well, let's get over here and start working our way up to other victory points. What do you need? Pin you down. We're gonna try to prevent these guys from going much further, if possible. After this, I have some weapons. Did you just die, or did he retreat? Where'd he go? What do you need? Wait, where did he actually go? I don't know, but he did. He disappeared. I literally don't know where his troops went. Oh, there they are. Huh. All right. No, I'll take it. It's fine. Unable to get through here quite like I wanted to. Sir. Uh, you can stop fighting, I suppose. Hello, sir. Need you get here. You guys get over here. So tired. See if you can sneak attack this way. I just want to cut some troops off. I want to get rid of their resources, if at all possible. So tired. Are you able to get up over here? You can, but let's assist with this instead. Plant cultivation is done. Good. It means extra growth from me. Uh, resource gain is not the worst idea. Um, encryption, decryption could be helpful, but I already have the advantage. Specialized warfare. Let's go ahead and research it. Let's start working on some other doctrines. Special Ops could be pretty helpful. I don't use them very often, but they can be helpful. He's redeploying a lot of troops to try and fight me off here. Which is interesting. If I just punch through here, these guys are cut off. Oh, he got someone in. But, well, I mean, we might be able to get it anyway. He's got no organization. Let's see what happens. More military factories. What do I want? You got it. Power armor. That's what I want. More water. Good lord. Well, we don't have a lot of people that are willing to trade it with me. Guess we'll just keep trading with the Mirror Lurk tribe. 
Try to get some water. Punching through the north. Doing pretty good there, honestly. Still haven't made much progress getting into Benningham, but we're trying. These guys are falling-ish. So we can get up to Rhombus Island and then... No, let's get up over here. And then to Bellingham that away. If we can sneak past him, we got it. You guys should be able to assist me here. If I can punch through this, that's pretty good. But it looks like a lot of guys are already encircled. Let's stop him from going anywhere. What can I do for you? You are going to go ahead and start encroaching this way. You... Oh, wait. They joined things up again. Now I'm cut off. Not what I wanted. Hey. And he's going to continue cutting me off, unfortunately. Greetings. Uh, we can go grab the port at least, so I think you technically get some supplies down the river. It's something. But yeah, he's got a lot stuck up in that area. We got more power armor. Hey. New army, I guess. Field Marshal. I don't think we have a leader that's able to do this, but we could make the Elder Immortal into a uh, Field Marshal. So we're going to do that, and then we're going to swap you guys out with a new commander. You're going to have to do. He's the only guy who can be my field marshal, dang it. I need it. Incoming. Pin this guy down. Don't let him go anywhere. Now we're starting to get spread kind of thin. I don't like it. After this, get down to Bellingham. We can hit him from behind. He doesn't have much left. After this, I, have I think it's fine. Power armor still isn't doing much. These guys are holding out. Come on, just die. Basic tools. Good. Glory Falls, Texan Arms Association. Doesn't affect me. Uh, resource gain efficiency, sure. Let's do that. We're now at Bellingham, done. Let's get up to Coover. He doesn't have a lot left. I just don't want to lose any units, if I can avoid it. Let's try to do this, because that would be a way of joining these guys up before they die. These guys are fully surrounded. Nothing I can do. Just got to get up to Coover somehow. And these guys are all stuck at Bellingham. How close are you to finishing off? You are 68% of the way. That's it? I'll be honest. I thought it was going to be a lot more than that. All right. Well, now we got Coover. That's good. Can you get over to Romba City from behind? That'll get an encirclement. Okay. That was almost enough. If we can just get to Romba City, I think we got him. Ainsworthy is next on the list as well. Black Paladins. Yep. Justify War Gold Time would be nice. Yeah, I'm going to do that because once we are done with Bellingham, we're going to want to continue going to war with other folks. Don't like these guys dying here. After this, can you guys possibly break through and save them? Better yet, can one of you get in here and grab Ainsworthy and just end the war and save them that way? Because if you can just get in here, I think we win. Sure as heck looks like they're dumb enough to let me. There you go. Is that it? There it is. All right. That was easy. Take all states and done. Okay. Western Brotherhood. Or, sorry. Washington Brotherhood. Looking pretty good. Where are we going to go next? Good question. Uh, not. Do I want to worry about the Troll Warrens? Kinda. I'll be honest. The Troll Warrens are perhaps my biggest threat right now. For the immediate future. What's going on? Let's switch out the power armor. This, Move them over here. To let's get another commander. We're gonna need more. And then okay. yeah, and you guys can join up over, I don't know, here. Let's get the troops in position and we're gonna see if we can kill these guys. 140 days is a while. Expand the Dominion 25%. It'll take 60 days to save us like what? 35? 40? So if we're going to do this, it actually might be worth just going for it. That said, we also would get free goals against the Warren. Let's see. In a little while. No, and I don't need to eradicate the mutants. We can just bypass this entirely if I'm willing to just go for the war goal right now. Let's get our troops in position and let's see if we can do it. Oh, we got more power armor. You didn't tell me the Black Paladins were going to give me some elites, some veteran power armor units. Oh, yeah. Give me that. That's awesome. Okay. Well, now we got some super good power armor, which I'm very happy about. 
yeah, we're gonna go kill the trolls next, I think. That should be just fine. In the meantime, I'm gonna end this video here, so thank you all very much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed. If so, then I would kindly ask that you hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Alright, let's go ahead and do it.